He is just four years old and he's dying from cancer. A Mississauga family shares their heartbreaking story of how COVID-19 has robbed them of giving their son a proper goodbye. We would go around the block and come back this way and he would hop on these the rocks you see and then he'd jump off of them. And he made every jump like so action filled. The once energetic little boy is just a couple months shy of turning five. Chances are he won't make it. So Hamza was diagnosed with um, an aggressive form of medulloblastoma last year, uh, April of 2019. We started with very high hopes, but with the recent relapse, because there is more than one tumor that have come up um, in different areas of his brain, um, the medical team doesn't think it's, it's curative. He's now at home with his family, told by doctors to simply keep him comfortable in the time he has left. Hamza is heavily medicated, so he doesn't feel any pain. His mother says he can't talk anymore, which is hard to watch. Magic, magic, turn into a froggy. Ribbit, ribbit. His condition has deteriorated very, very fast over the last couple of weeks. Um, He's having a lot of seizures and um, lots of vomiting, of course, and, and we think that he's having a lot of bleeds in his brain because of the tumor. Tanzila Koser says there were so many things Hamza wanted to do and could have done up until a couple of weeks ago if it weren't for COVID-19. He wanted to go to Legoland, he wanted to go horseback riding, he wanted to go to the zoo. There's so many things that we talked about and, and we made promises and all of that. And I think that when um, now was our time to be able to do that. Another sad reality, planning a potential funeral during this pandemic. Ontario is only allowing 10 or less people to attend. That's a fraction of our the number of family and friends we have. And these are all people that love him so dearly and have loved him from day one. And, and he's very used to and he loves back. Tanzila shares this final message to encourage people to continue taking social distancing seriously. The sooner we realize this, the sooner it will be over. Um, and, and children, and Hamza, and children like Hamza will be able to do the things that they want to in, in the time that they have. Friends of the family have set up a GoFundMe page to help with financial hardships as only one parent has been working full time so the other could stay home with Hamza. Maliha Sheikh, City News, Mississauga.